Uh, well, Gene Deal tell you why he was fired. Um, did I hear a different story? To a degree, I've heard about three different stories on why Gene Deal was fired. <laughs> so Gene told you why he was fired. Um, he said it before, and then now he's saying almost everything over again on Art of Dialogue. But uh, what he was saying was that, you know, Puffy's mother was flirting with him, and he didn't want to go. And basically, you know, because of that, you know, she's always messing with Gene because Gene wouldn't give her no rhythm, you know, so... And basically, he was fired for this. Now, from what I heard, the guy they called Paul, Paul was telling Gene that, um, like, hey, man, you know, like, you know, we keeping a tight ship, you know, around here now. Things are a little different. You know, because of the situation and how it went, you know, when everybody came back from Vegas. You know I mean, L.A. You know, they, they flew in from Vegas, though. So when they came back, it was a whole different world. Now... And all of these things started to change. It was a lot different on how security was going to be moving forward. You know, how it was going to look and all this stuff. And Gene still had a job. You know, besides the bodyguard, he had his other job and all this stuff. So detectives are coming, doing investigations, and the press... And all of these, these things that's happening. And Gene was like the guy who was most vocal or willing to participate in these um, activities, you know, as far as documentaries and, and saying what he saw and what he knew. And this is one of the stories I've heard. They were saying um, we shouldn't probably have Gene around because Gene is uh, someone that's going to lack off from being security. He talked and talking to people on the side and really not doing his job. But he cool people. But as of right now, we can't have him around and mom's on fire. She asked Gene to do something, he always back talk and got something smart to say. Saying something ain't his job. And he feel he can talk back to her like that. So Paul tried to actually fight for Gene at one point and was like, no, you know, we don't need, you know, people that we know, you know, that, that can, that know people and stuff. So allegedly this is what happened. Now, from this point on, like, I think it was 97, he was on for a little bit there. And the mom convinced Puff that, Gene has to go. Now, and Puffy did want to fire Gene, but he ended up having to let him go. Because it was mom's decision. It wasn't Puff. Puff didn't want to do it. But when mom said he had to go, he had to go. 
Now, story number two. Story number two is different. Oh, Gene Deal, man, he came back and started cooperating with the police. He was trying, trying to help out with the investigation and doing all these different things. He was helping out with the cops. This is the stupidest story I've ever heard in my life. I'm like, Gene Deal don't look like the guy that's going to go run to the cops and do anything. Story number three. Man, this dude went up to Big's mom's and started saying, I'm sorry, Miss Wallace. You know, I was there with your son. I helped get him out the car. I did all this. And this is, you know, and you want to hear his dying words and he's this and that. And he was contacting her. And Puff didn't like that. So he got fired. Story number four. Gene Deal was fired because he tried to come on to Puffy's mom. He thought it was so good because she was flirting and he grabbed her. And she's just like, what? Snatched away from Gene. And Gene was like, oh, I thought we had something going. And she got mad and said, you get out of my office. Go home, Gene. And Gene left and went home, and she told Puffy to fire. Oh, Jesus Christ. All of these stories. About one man being fired. That man just told you his story. Puffy and Puffy's mother hadn't told you enough. So, that is the story, the one that's running around right now. Now, on top of that, let's move, let's move accordingly on this, right? Because it must be said. The story I heard the most was that Gene Deal had a smart mouth. He kept talking back. Always had something slick to say. And it was at the wrong time. He said the wrong thing. And they just got fed up. The mother, that is, Puffy's mom, got fed up. It was like, tired of Gene, she ain't, she ain't gotta go. That's the one I heard the most. So, I never heard about the mom trying to come on to him or was liking him. It was about his performance or he was complaining he wasn't head of security and just things of that nature. That's why I heard he was fired. This was many, of course, many moons ago. He just told you his reason and why he was fired. And they haven't dis disputed it, so there you have it. Now you got both sides and you got all four stories. So why is there so many stories about one man being fired? Because people just didn't know. 
and they just was making it up as they were going along. But Gene did was working with them people, and that was crazy. They was like, the FBI got a photo of Gene Deal with the people that did it. Gene knew the hit was coming. I'm like, Jesus Christ. Uh, you, you almost feel sorry for these people. But then again, they weren't alive when this stuff was happening. They weren't even alive. They weren't even born. And they try to tell you about events that you were alive and damn well know what happened or how that went down. So immediately I said, no, Gene was in the photo because Gene was standing there. This was outside. He wasn't with them. The guy's walking by. That doesn't mean Gene Deal was with the guy. The guy was walking by got caught in a photograph by being surveillance. Right? The gall of these people. So anyway, that's it. I'm going to get out of here and what is this? I don't know what that is, but I'm going to get out of here and uh, get the day started. So when you guys saying that you see Gene Dill say this, Gene said this actually on his own channel or MREX channel, I believe, uh, months ago, if not a year ago. He actually told what happened in his side of the story because it happened to him. So he would know. But they haven't disputed it and said, hey, Gene's lying. But that was the version I heard before Gene ever said anything. It was the one I told you at the end that that's the reason they let him go. He kept complaining about being head of security and all this other stuff and just... He was always button heads with the mom, so she was like, he got to go. Now, that was that. So, there's four videos here you can pick from. Uh, my cash app is Carcino, K-A-R-C-E-N-O, in case you wanted to know. And I'm out.